Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial inspired by the 2018 Victoria's Secret Runway Fashion Show. I got a lot of my inspiration from the top models and just their beautiful skin, um, also the sultriness of their makeup, it's not too crazy. Um, so something very achievable for everyone. All the makeup that I use in this tutorial are from the drugstore, so um, it's gonna be really accessible and really easy for you guys to do. I don't like tutorials that are too complicated. Um, it's definitely for the everyday girl and for any skill set. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you have not already joined my family, don't forget to click subscribe and let's get started. Yeah, I know I'm scary without my makeup on, but deal, okay? So they're working on construction. They're building, it sounds like, I don't know, a new planet next door. It's so flippin' loud. So try to excuse that. Hopefully my music, the music that's very subtly playing in the background, is gonna drown out some guy like, Bleh. Lord have mercy, I almost, almost got X-rated here. Hello, this is not YouTube Red. No one is paying for this. So first off, I'm going to be moisturizing my face and I'm using a product from Olay. This is their Olay Whip. I always go down my neck. I did my girlfriend's makeup the other night and she got freaked out when I was going down her neck with foundation and moisturizer and primer. I'm like, girl, why aren't you taking this down to your toes? Like, you have to blend. If you don't blend, it's gonna make you look like you have a mask. That ain't cute. For my foundation, I wanted to keep that um, really light and airy as well, so I was on the fence of using um, this product here from Wet n Wild. This is their Photo Focus Foundation, and it's in bronze beige. Or I was going to be using um, the Photo Ready Candid Natural Finish Anti-Pollution Foundation from Revlon, and this is in the shade True Beige. So I'm like, ah, I don't know which, what foundation I was gonna use. I know I needed to use something that was from the drugstore because I wanted to keep this look super easy to achieve and really affordable for those of us who are on a beauty budget. But first of all, I can't even get this flipping thing. Oh, oh, here we go. Use a little spatula that it comes with. Like this cute little spatula, I've never seen that before. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that on the back of my hand and then just stipple this all over my face using a moist beauty blender. And I start right in this area because I have tons of discoloration like my really dark under eye circles and some melasma or some sun or age spots right in this area. Typically where you would see your freckles but the Lord knows I'm too old for freckles so those are definitely age spots that I should consider getting blasted off my face, but I'm not there yet. Now, a lot of girls like to do their eye makeup first and then their face makeup, but since I'm not doing anything crazy that I'm expecting or anticipating a lot of fallout, I don't mind doing my makeup first. Now I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes, making sure that I look like an angel and not a demon. I'm using a product from L'Oreal Paris. This is their True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer. It's in a clickable pen and the shade is medium, so I'm hoping that it's not too dark, but typically I take medium. Come on. I'm trying not to drag the little applicator because I don't want it to move the foundation I just put all over my face. So right under there, and then I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and blend this out. Now I don't want to do too, too much. I don't want to get crazy with it because I do want to keep it true to the Victoria's Secret style. They don't do very much baking. They don't do anything crazy, crazy. It's really soft and natural and sultry. So definitely not drag queen-esque that I'm used to. Next up, I'm going to do a bit of contour just to slim down my face, highlight a lot of the bone structure that's starting to peek through with my weight loss. This is the Maybelline New York Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer in the shade Deep. Because I'm using it as a contour, but a really, really light contour. As you guys can see, you can, you can, you can see it. So I'm gonna mark up my face where I want to really highlight my contour, as you guys can see already. I'm also going to be doing the bridge of my nose, just like this. So that makes the nose look slimmer as well. Then you just take your beauty blender and you blend it all out. Okay. 
you want to make sure that your sponge is moist. Not dripping in water, but just has enough moisture to help blend your products together. Next, I'm going to take a product from Revlon. This is their new Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder in the shade number one. This is just a translucent powder. And I'm going to place this right underneath my eyes in any of the high points of my face that needs a little bit of baking but nothing too serious. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same beauty blender that I've been using. Load up my cap, press in the powder, and then set right underneath my eyes. I look like an angry bird right now. Are my eyebrows wicked? I'm sorry. I feel like I'm scaring everybody and just like I've been thinking about getting Botox in just like one eyebrow so that like the other one can be up like the sassy one. But then I'll just always look surprised. So I better not. Next I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow and I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted Eyeshadow. It says it's Ooh, it does it smells good. It smells like peaches. I'm gonna take shade number eight and go right into the crease. I'm going to use shade number 10 right here in the corner and I'm going to apply that all over my lids. Uh oh, a little fallout. Alright, I'll survive. So I'm just taking this powder, this eyeshadow, right up to the crease that I just created with that eyeshadow. Going back in with the first brush and just blending those two together. This is shade number nine, so this guy right here in the corner. I'm gonna take that one with the pencil brush and start to create almost like a liner. You guys can see it's just getting really deep there. This is gonna be the first shade. I'm gonna build up though. So I'm gonna do my liner with the pencil. Then I'm gonna go to the darker shade and intensify it. So that's shade number 11, right on the bottom middle. Next, I'm going to be taking a smaller flat shader brush, and with this one, I'm going to pick up this really beautiful shimmery shadow here, and this is number three in the corner, and I'm going to concentrate this right on the inner corners of my eyes here and on this beginning part of my lower lash line. So right here, I'm going to add that shade. like that. Now I'm going to sweep all of the powder away from underneath my eyes because I'm going to finish off the rest of my eye makeup and I just need to get this out of here. Next we're going to be using this Maybelline New York um, Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner and this is just in black and what I'm going to do is try to keep this as close to the lash line as possible. Try not to make it too thick because you will ruin it. So what I'm going to do here is just, I'm going to lay it down on my face like a stamp. I stamped my line and then I'm going to drag it and fill in the line. Next, I'm gonna take a flat shader brush again and go back in with that darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to just kind of go over what I just created. Now I'm going to be adding another product from Maybelline. This is their Snap Mascara. It's a new product as well and it comes in a few different colors, but of course I'm just gonna be using black. Um, I'm going to really concentrate the mascara on the outer corners of the eyes. Honestly, I don't even need eyelashes anymore. Forget it. This eyelash, this mascara is amazing. Oh my gosh, I found my new favorite mascara. Everybody get this, please. 
I feel like I'm already having like a different attitude thanks to my makeup. That's how powerful makeup is. It's unreal. So moving on to the bronzer, I'm going to be taking this um, big chunky blush brush and I've kind of smashed it so it can give me some more definition in my contour. And I'm using this, I'm using this product from um, L'Oreal Paris. This is from their Paradise Enchanted collection and this blush is called number 193 Charmings. I'm just going to be really nice about it and go right in this little crease here. It's super pigmented so watch out. You have to work fast, blend it out as you're applying it too because it's Super, super pigmented. Next, I'm going to be taking a blush from Burt's Bees, and this is in Bare Peach. Smile a little bit, and I'm just gonna add it to like this little chunk right here to my cheeks. Don't bring it too high up, because if you bring it high up, then this part's gonna get red, so I'm just adding it right to that little apple, the little circle part right here in my cheek. Then to finish off my cheeks, I'm going to be using L'Oreal Paris' True Match Lumi Glow Nude Highlighter Palette. And I am going to use um, this shade here in the corner. This is Saturn. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. Put a little bit of it up here on my forehead. This just gives you the illusion of an all over glow. And to finish it all off, I'm going to be using another product from Maybelline. This is their Baddest Beige, number 50. And it's from one of their newest collections of lipsticks. So the packaging's really pretty, super chrome, and just totally gorgeous. If a lipstick can be gorgeous, I love packaging. I mean, this is definitely something that you're gonna be inspired to bust out and use, right? Because it looks how gorgeous the packaging is. Beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my lips. It's a beautiful color, but I just don't want it to wash me out. Taupe Seduction. Okay, that combo is gorgeous. So a little bit of that baddest beige or bad beige or bad nude. Oh my gosh. I love it. Ah! I just dropped out of the floor. No! Okay, it's fine. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mystify my entire life using um, the Skin Active Facial Mist from Garnier. And it looks like this, it's pink as well. It's really beautiful. It's just gonna refresh my face. It's not gonna really set my makeup. I set my makeup with a powder, but I just wanna just give myself a little bit of moisture, you know? And that's it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments, requests, everything in the comment section down below. I'm always hanging out there for the first couple of days of uploads. So if you guys have any questions or requests, leave it there and we'll see you guys in the next one.